This is the most beautiful wildflower and you've probably noticed it around at the sides of roads and things like that. Um, it's incredibly invasive and it's not a native plant to this country but you do find it wild just everywhere. Um, and aside from being just an incredibly pretty thing to come across when you're walking, look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Um, it is edible so most of the parts of this plant are good to eat. The, the shoots when they're young are edible. Um, the flowers you can make into syrups and things like that. And uh, and these pods, whoop, try to get them before they do that. So the way that this reproduces is that the pods explode and fly their seeds everywhere when you touch them. So I am going to do it here because they're going to do it anyway. But in an ideal world, can you see? It's just, it's curled itself inside out to fling those seeds. In an ideal world, you want to, to not let it do that. So if it was on land that you had any, any possibility of managing, like if it was on your land or land where you could hope to clear it, you would want to clear it before it got to this stage and started shooting seeds everywhere. Um, it's incredibly invasive. It will spread and spread and spread and, uh, and take over from anything else native that was around. Um, the seed pods, when they're young though, if you get them before they explode, these are really tasty and you can use them in, in curries traditionally, where, where they are native to, they would use them. Um, but you can just boil them up like little peas, um, mange too or something, and they're a, a lovely wild vegetable. So I'm going to gather a few of those and show you what I do with them later. Oh, for identification purposes, they're pretty unmistakable. These flowers are, are quite unique. And the size of the plant, like this is taller than me, look. Have to go up to see it. Um, but if I show you a leaf, just so that you can be sure. The leaves always remind me a little bit of hempagrim in the, um, the way that they kind of come out with multiple bits from a single point, but they are separate leaves. Um, and they've got these kind of red stems with ridges on them. I don't know if you can see that very well. It's hard to get it to focus on the stem. But yeah, they've got ridges on the stem. The leaves all come out from a single point around like one collar. Um, but yeah, I don't think you're going to mistake it for anything else. Look.